the other thing I think about when I do drapery is, uh, especially with wind, is uh, I sometimes try not to, th or I sometimes think about something extra, which is the air actually pushing through something. So instead of just animating um, hair, you know, doing this, I am just as easily imagining the ball of air that is forcing its way through that hair as it goes through. The, the, and it's especially useful for doing drapery, you know, which is like, you know, like this and like flag type animation where you're thinking of actually the pocket of air which is working its way through this bit of material. That's the way I, I often think about that kind of assignment, you know. I mean, yes, you can just think about the edge and animating it like a, a chain, which is doing that, but if you think of both of those things, you can actually come up with more interesting hair shapes and, and things will happen like, oh, that interesting thing happened there. The other thing about this is that on hair and stuff, especially long hair, um, the weight of the rest of the hair makes these curves be a little, um, you know, less aggressive. But when you get to the ends, you know, these things can really start to curl over because there's really not, there's nothing after them to just hold them in place. So at the beginning, it's like big curves, and then these little curves at the end can get really tight. You know, you know they can get tight at the end when you start doing. So these things get very tight at the end, and they curl in on each other. But at the back, it's just pretty. You know, so a flag. You know, that's shaped like that. You know, these shapes are big curves. But by the time you get to the end, it can actually sort of flap over itself and and do that kind of thing. I animated some flags in Kung Fu Panda, kind of go like that. And the shapes at the end get pretty, you know, but the shapes at the base, um, less, less so.